How's it going, dudes? WWE 2K14, 30 years of WrestleMania mode. We're going to a new right now. And last time we did the WrestleMania 27 with Mr. Dusty John Cena, the most disappointing main event in recent memory. So let's move on to, I'm guessing, WrestleMania 28. There's not nothing else we can get from WrestleMania 27, so... Duh! Of course it's going to be WrestleMania 28. Boom! Video package! WrestleMania 27. Every passing moment, I have lived the memory of the beating that I took at the hands of Triple H last year at WrestleMania. Only one man walked out, and it was me. My victory over you means nothing. I will not let that be the image of me that is remembered through the ages. Give me my vengeance. And I will give you one more chance at immortality. I know what I have to do to beat you. I have to finish you. I'm not going to do it. You know, Hunter, you know that you can't do what your buddy Shawn Michaels couldn't do. Because Shawn was always better than you. Ain't that the truth, son? Of my hand because I've been made a special referee. You remember when I said Sean is better than you? He is. Much as Sean's ego <laughs> wants this to be about him, it's not. I am gonna end the Undertaker. I am gonna end the streak. I am gonna end an era. Your mind. Your body, your soul, all this. Are you willing to put it all on the line? I am. And I will. The WrestleMania 27 and WrestleMania 28 Triple H Undertaker matches were decent. Yeah, really good, actually. Um, They told a good story. They were kind of slow at times. But that's what you really need to build a story, and they were, they were good for what they were. The WrestleMania 17 match, I think, was probably the best match they've had at WrestleMania. But maybe that's just bias, because I still think WrestleMania 27 is the best WrestleMania of all time. Stacked card from top to bottom, and it was a really good sort of middle of the card match. Really, really good. Uh, these two matches were more epic, I guess you could say, in their tone. But anyway, let's get on with them. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is the end of an era, and it will be contested inside Hell in a Cell. Please welcome the special referee for this match. Referee. From San Antonio, Texas, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing history here tonight. And I can swear to you, there's nowhere that I'd rather be than right here tonight at WrestleMania 28. Well, there's so much history in this match. And JR, you've been a big part of the history, calling so many great matches involving these great superstars over the years. And it's great to have you out here. Well, I'll tell you what, this is without question the biggest honor the biggest privilege that I've ever had as a broadcaster to be able to sit here and document this matchup between The Undertaker and Triple H, two men who are surefire Hall of Famers. It is an end of an era, and we are all going to be part of it. I do not envy the position that Shawn Michaels is in tonight. Nami! Here we go. Hey. Jim Ross, you've called every other match. Why would they bring up that he's just brought out this one? Now, I don't know.
Then he lived for the money. He wanted to make millions, and he earned millions. But now, there's only one thing left for the game, and that is tonight. And that is to end the streak of The Undertaker tonight at WrestleMania. And the question on the mind of everyone is, can the game, can Triple H do what his best friend Shawn Michaels was unable to do? Yeah, boy. Undertaker entrance time. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing 299 pounds, the Undertaker. Drops below 300. Through 50 foot high flames walks the demon of Death Valley. I see no flames. One of the most intimidating individuals in the history of WWE. And without a doubt, ladies and gentlemen, simply looking at this man and what's at stake. Any other human being on the face of the earth would be intimidated. Would be a spikes of their career or their mortality. But the one man who isn't is standing in the ring waiting. And that's the game. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt that this is the most awesome entrance of any superstar in history. And that's simply because, King, of who it is. The Undertaker. 19 wins. No losses at WrestleMania. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, that the road to everlasting mortality runs through WrestleMania. And on this night, it runs through hell in a cell. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> Listen to the uh, Hell in a Cell dropping music. You see, in this era, I do not see the point in Hell in a Cell at all. I'd like to start off by saying congratulations to the WWE Universe. You know, King, this stadium opened 25 years ago. There have been over 2,500 events held here, but tonight, thanks to you, the WWE Universe, we have set a brand new attendance record of 78,363. Another WrestleMania and another attendance Weird that they would fucking uh, include this in the Starlight cover trip. coming into this matchup is Undertaker's physical well-being. Remember, we have not seen The Undertaker inside a ring since his battle with Triple H last year at WrestleMania. Oh, and The Undertaker has been seething for an entire year. The fact that he did not leave the arena under his own power at last year's WrestleMania has clearly weighed on the dead man's mind. Is that it? Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I don't see the point in Hell in a Cell in this era, where there's, like, no bloodshed or a lot less violence. I suppose for this match it was alright because it was like that epic and it was brutal. Um, but, eh, the same with this no DQ matches or hardcore matches. They just. They maybe like use one chair in the entire match or something like that. It's just. There's just no. There's not much need for prop matches in a PG sort of environment. It doesn't, doesn't work very well. But um, whatever. I guess they need some marketing things, because I mean, the hell in a cell pay per view—they don't even touch the cell, even. It's like, what's the point? Come on, come here. I want to choke some. I want to choke some. Get in the ring. Get in the ring. Get in the ring. Get in the ring. Stop walking into the ring and get in the ring. Don't fucking. Oh hell no. Oh hell no. Get off. Ah! Uh, come on! No! Let go of the fucking chair. Ah! Ah! What's this? What's this? Ow. Okay, I remember this. 
over and over again. Yeah, this was pretty brutal. This has to hurt. Oh shit. Uh. Yeah, that's, this was pretty brutal. Wow. Wow. Why on HBK, man? Out of my head. Well, I'm not. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to choke some. Fair enough. Hey, get here. Oh, God damn it! Fuck it, we'll, uh. I'll just do this fucking tombstone, why not? Boo! Oh snap! Ah! The DX! We got that DX! Nah, 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 ain't gonna win with a quick count, son! I need to choke slam his ass. His ass. Wow. Ha! Now, mate. Oh hell no! Reverse my Irish whip. Dare you dare? Don't touch me! Don't fucking touch me! I want to use a bit of the cell. You know what I'm saying? I've been complaining about real life WWE not using the cell. I want to use the cell. Hey. Hey. Get up. Oh, into the cell, son. Take that, you bitch. Boom. Oh, wow. Oh, back into the cell. How do we get out of it? Kind of want to get out of it. Ah, you fuck. Why is that big yellow pillar? I remember that actually. Wow. He's still down after that. Get up. Get up. I'm surprised I ain't got the Shave SD by match on this one. <laughs> oh, was that 29? Nah, it was 28. Was it 28? Was it 29? What? I can't remember. 28? 28, won it. 28? Was it 28? Doesn't seem right. Fuck it. Chuck slam time. Here we fucking go. Oh, boom! Guess what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna do the fourth historical objective, and you're gonna fucking lose like a bitch. Whoa. Oh! Count! 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 There we go. Twenty and oh. And then they all hug and bum each other. Alright, cool. So that was good match. Let's see what else WrestleMania 28 has in store for us. Huh.
Syrian punk, Syrian punk, Syrian punk, Syrian punk, Y2J. You see, so for years, Shawn Michaels was my favourite wrestler. For years, Chris Jericho was my second favourite wrestler. For years, CM Punk was my third favourite wrestler. And, uh, yeah, I followed him through Ring of Honor to WWE. And then, obviously, it kind of, you know, it got into some political backstage bullshit with The Undertaker. They were never willing to really elevate him to where he should be. And then, of course, that pipe bomb promo. And they just elevated him to the top. He was absolutely white hot. You know, Triple H got the shovel out a bit. And they put him with Alberto Del Rio for no fucking reason. And, uh, yeah, but it's, it's still white hot. In fact, he was definitely the most over person at the WWE Live at Leeds I went to the other day. Um, so, yeah, obviously with HBK's retirement, Chris Jericho's won, CM Punk 2. Now Chris Jericho's not around as much. CM Punk is my favourite. And this was a big moment for Punk. You know, WWE Championship match at WrestleMania 28. It was an okay feud. I don't think it worked out as good as it could have done. And but the matches were really good. In fact, this one in particular was excellent. So let's get on with it. Boosh. <gasps> the white jacket! Awesome. Why too Was it red? <laughs> Mr. Clown Shoes. Where can I get that jacket? Damn right! <laughs> That's an awesome sign. <laughs> Where can I get it? And his Look at his Pepsi tattoo. It's not a Pepsi sign. It's like half red, half blue. They usually just leave it off. Sick, yo. CM Punk. I'm excited. Kind of played as the same, same, same wrestlers a lot so far. So finally getting to play as someone new. Hell yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, since the summer of 2011, CM Punk has successfully defended the WWE Championship, oh. calling himself the best wrestler in the world. It is a claim that Chris Jericho disputes. That's right, Jr. Jericho accused Punk of being a copycat, a Jericlone, if you will, and that Punk stole his proclamation of being the best in the world. Jericho has resorted to every 
underhanded tactic that he could Chris Jericho is one of the greatest big game players in WWE history. He defeated Stone Cold Steve I'm confused. The commentary just switched again. The same night to become the undisputed WWE champion. That's something the likes of which we will never see again, JR. Well, be that as it may, King, what Jericho has done in the past means little at this juncture. Is Jericho the best in the world right now? That's the question. I keep fucking up the commentary. God damn it. God damn it. Hey, guess what? Them no 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 shirts did not exist at this point, did they? Pretty sure they didn't. In fact, this was the night that the yes chance began in earnest. So, what the fuck? Eh? Why? How do I do a top rope elbow to Y2J at ringside? I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to fuck that one up over and over again. Hopefully not. But yeah, this was actually a really good match. Um, I think the feud sort of wasn't the best, but um, holy shit, no. But the matches were good. The matches were definitely good. Uh, yo. Boom. Running knee. Bulldog. Holy shit. I just realised I have fucked up that signature. Bitch. Bitchy, bitchy, bitch, bitch. Fuck it. Let's do a GTS if he ends critical. Boom. Gotta escape the walls of Jericho. Alright. Fair play. He's already got a signature. Convenient. Yeah. Fucking Sam Punk's uh, thing was uh, really nice and short. Oh. Rattle. 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 Escape! Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> oh, you fuck. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> Christ. Who's bleeding? Who's bleeding out the anus? Oh shit, it better have resilience here. Oh, it's all good. No. Get off. There we go. Boom. Is he? Yeah, I guess so. Pipe bomb. Dude, they have. Uh, CM Punk. They need to make CM Punk a badass face again because he's a bit of a, a bit of a John Cena clone at the minute. He seems to just get beaten. I know I get that they're making him put people over, which is good. It's good that should happen, but they're kind of making him a di one-dimensional sort of um, Cena clone in that he gets beat up the rest of the match and then uses f like three or four or five moves. What is happening? I don't know, but I hope I don't. Fucking whoa, whoa! All right, cool, sick. All right, get in. All right, so what? Oh no! Um, can I do it now? Is it gonna be a signature? No! Why? Please, I just want the goddamn signature for an elbow drop to the outside. Is that too much to ask for? It must be. Let's do another GTS. Oh. Someone? Oh, I got the second one now. I thought I already, I already got it, to be honest. Clearly not. Here we go, I got a signature. Get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up! I'm hoping. All right. Fuck me. No, dude, come on! Don't give me this shit. Get out. Sit down. Thank you. Get up. How do I do this? How do I do it? How do I do it? No! Uh, <laughs> 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 Ray, we did it! Woo! Alright, now get in the fucking ring. 
and let's get this match over with. Ah, hell no. Don't do this shit. Don't do this shit to me. Oh. Get up, 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 before he gets in. Thank you. Alright, probably gonna be too close to the ropes here. Let's give him a little draggy drew. A little draggy drew. Into the middle. Here we go. The Anakin of us! Bust in the world! Alright, there's one more big match at WrestleMania 28. You know what it is. Ugh. Alright, the big one. Um, Arizona's in Cena's corner for this. Big fan of The Rock, always been a big fan of The Rock, but what John Cena was saying was making sense. And all The Rock was doing was recycling his 10 year old catchphrases and not really saying much else. Just coming up with stupid shite like fruity pebbles and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this run for The Rock didn't really do much for him in terms of his wrestling career or his wrestling legacy um both matches were pretty shit as well um the crowd didn't react the way i think wwe wanted them to i think they wanted it to be more like hogan and the rock sort of mental crowd yeah i just really wasn't a fan of twice in a lifetime but anyway let's get on with it He's loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, is that it? Yes. All right. Oh, 
not really getting much fucking in the way of commentary at the beginning. Alright. Fair enough. Let's get to the match. Barbs. Cardio, his in -ring shape. Cardio, mate, it was gassed up within like two minutes. Yeah, it is. Shut up, bitch. Some of it was entertaining, some of it was not. And it dragged on way too long. Yeah, the whole uh, like signing it a year in advance was pretty fucking dumb on WWE's part because they had to find ways to drag it out, have The Rock make appearances. I think the Survivor Series match was pretty dumb. I mean, I get that it was like a sort of warm-up match for The Rock in a way, but it was against The Miz and our truth The Miz and our truth Against The Rock and John Cena, fine. The Rock and John Cena, big draws, but they could have put someone, like they could have put, I don't know, someone who deserved to go against The Rock in fucking in the main event of Survivor Series. Do you know what I'm saying? Our truth, our fucking truth. And what was that bullshit about him um, headlining a fucking pay per view against uh, John Cena as well? It was so random. Oh, we got the spine buster! So we can do the people's elbow now. Sick. Let's do that. John Cena just morphed. Um, to be straight. Oh, oh. Alright, gotta do sharp shooter. I still gotta finish it to hit the rock bottom. Well, unfortunately, son, I need to do the sharp shooter as well. We up. You're not getting much in the way of uh, resistance from John Cena in this match. Has he? I don't think he has. Yeah, sit down, boy. Just bring it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, okay. I did it. It's all good. What? No. Let me get us. Need the sharpshooter on him. Yeah, boy. Sharpshooter. That was another thing. Like, all of our rock shirts was Team Bring It, but um, I don't think he ever said just bring it once. Like, in the whole feud. Kind of weird. There we go. Oh one, a two, a three, and we've already won. Where did where did Cena go in that match? Oh great! All right. Oh, here we go. Sitting on that ramp, having a cry. It's like the reverse of most Cena matches. <laughs>
that big Icon versus Icon matchup rounded out WrestleMania 28. And we've only got one more WrestleMania to go. Oh! So yeah, please like if you enjoyed, subscribe for the more, and I will see you in what will be the last video of this series. I've almost completed an entire series. Yeah!